And here at noon, we begin with a triple murder case that has shaken Placer County. A Roseville man has just been sentenced to three life prison terms for the murder of his family. Shankar Hangood turned himself into police, admitting to the crimes back in 2019. KCRA 3's Leticia Ordaz was inside the courtroom to show us what happened today and why the father said he did it. More than 750 days after killing his family, Shankar Hangood faced a judge for his sentencing. The judge didn't allow audio to be recorded in the courtroom. Visibly disturbed, he called it a horrific crime where no victims were alive to speak. I'm, I'm so glad that, that the high school um, classmates came today because as the, as the judge commented, we are so used to having in murder cases family there to, to carry on the life and the memory of victims. And we, have, we don't have that in this case. And it's so sad that these, you know, four lives. Three children were murdered by their own father, all because he told investigators he couldn't provide for them financially. It's hard to reconcile with the facts that, that this tragedy could happen because someone couldn't get employed. But it's, a, uh, it's an old world patriarchal thought pattern where um, if he can't be a provider, he doesn't want his family um, to have nothing, so he kills his family. The crimes took place starting in October of 2019. He started with his wife. He convinced her to commit suicide, and he helped her commit suicide on October 7th. He killed his wife and children, ages 13. 13 and 16 in their Roseville apartment. He then drove more than 200 miles with his 20 year old son, strangling him in the car and then turning himself in to the Mount Shasta Police Department. The investigation revealed that these were children that were going to school. They had friends. They were very um, social. They, uh, they were the oldest son had just got accepted to Sac State. Uh, and he had a future. Handgood told investigators he and his wife were depressed and didn't want to live anymore. They asked their children to join them because they didn't want them to be orphans. Prosecutors say it's ironic that the father had convinced his children that they would all be together in the afterlife. But in the end, he didn't end up taking his own life. It's the ultimate act of cowardly because his children followed his advice and believed that he would he would kill himself as the as at the end of this. And instead, he didn't. As the judge read his three consecutive life sentences, Hangood remained silent. It appeared that your client showed no remorse whatsoever in the courtroom. Um, you know, he's, he's a very quiet and sensitive man. Um, he has shown remorse throughout the entire process. He is basically crumbling from the inside. Uh, and the reason that he entered the police department um, and confessed at length is that uh, he felt that he needed to be punished for what he did. Prosecutors say today's sentence won't bring back his family, but they believe justice was served. In October of 2019, uh, he f started with his wife. He convinced her to commit suicide, and he helped her commit suicide on October 7th. In Roseville, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. Hangood will be transferred to a correctional facility in Tracy and then eventually to a higher security prison where he will serve out his life sentences. Because of the special circumstances of killing more than one person, Shankar Hangood will never be eligible for parole.